I think it was it was a whole bowl of key. And I was like, this bowl's about out like, this is gonna be the one that does it to you. Like, Shit never rich as bad as the same. Fuck a light span, this is just one long train. Well, a long time no see, huh? Last Monday, not even Sunday, was a, uh, you know, it was a pretty good story, wasn't it? Still, you loved it so much you decided to tune in next week to hear what I had to say from this glorious mouth. And for that, we rejoice, because it's on time now. So, let's begin. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Lost Disciple, and welcome to today's story time. So this story is going to be a little, a little about token, you know, smoking the smoking the devil's lettuce. But this isn't your average smoke of the devil's lettuce story. This is a tweak story. This isn't, you know what? For the sake of it, I won't just, I'll embarrass myself, but I'll embarrass my friend first before I tell myself. So, you know, like everybody that smokes, they have their little funny stories that come with them. And I got my fair share of stories. So because the last one, I kind of not teased it, but like someone pointed out that they wanted to hear more, you know, smoking stories since the last one kind of was counted as one or was it but not necessarily, but it had a little bit of it. So if someone was interested in one, hear another story. So I was like, you know, I got a good one. I got two good ones. I got a lot of good ones, but I'm going to give these two ones first because I think they're pretty reasonable and pretty like, you know, they're like the introductory stories. So like, and like, it, yeah, it's perfect. They're like a PSA. Consider this like a lost disciple drug PSA. So don't, don't do drugs, kids. Like seriously, like I'm super fortunate that I have the opportunities that I have, you know? Not everybody gets to have those opportunities while they are smoking or doing, you know. So I'm I'm glad that I am. I do. So even basically, I'm trying to say it's not always easy to find a job when you smoke. Just because it's legal doesn't mean you should do it. Because it, not everyone wants to hire a pothead, you know. Because a lot of people give us a bad rep. I work my ass off, and when on my time where I could chill, sometimes I smoke. You know, what's wrong with that? I pay my taxes like everybody else. But sometimes you just want to chill and smoke a joint. You like drinking? I don't. I like to take, I like to smoke. What's wrong with that, you know? But seriously though, I, f- I advise against doing it. It's don't smoke. Don't drink. Don't do anything. There's it's pointless, really. Seriously, don't do it. Anyway, so this story was about is going to be about my friend. We were chilling in this infamous old room of mine. Yes, another story in my room. And uh, you know, we were smoking. No, we were going to smoke, but uh, we only, I think I don't even remember if we had a joint left, bro. Like, I think we, I literally, if I remember correctly, I literally don't think I had any more, like, I don't had anything to smoke left besides Keef. And, you know, for those of you that smoke, you know what Keef is. And for those of you that don't, it's the, I don't, I mean, I'm not a big fucking bud geek, so I don't really know. I'm pretty sure it's like the, like the powder and like the trichomes. Is there something like I don't know? It's whatever when you have a grinder, it's whatever the powder is shit that collects at the bottom, the keep catch. So I had a lot of that saved up. And my friend comes over, you know, he wants to smoke or whatever. I'm like, I don't got much, but I got a key for it for you. And I think it was this bull's butt. I was like, this is going to be the one that does it to you. Like, you're about this to be the one that's going to kill you. So, you know, we're laughing or joking or whatever. And I had like, yo, my bong took bodies. Like, yo, my bong claim, like, my bong literally has a body count. Like, like me and my, like, me and my friends, we all like we all have bongs pretty much, and we would all like. I remember the first time we spoke, we'd go over to my friend's house, and we'd all hit his bong, or whatever. And you know, you'd get su- we'd get geeked out. Like, there's never a time where like we'd get super geeked out. Like, if you hit my bong, like if you hit my bong, like for, like I don't know, like too like too hard or not too hard, but like it just hit, like it hit, like you knew it hit. So I was telling like you know this one's gonna do you, this one's gonna do you in, like this is gonna be the one that does it to you. You know, we're laughing. And he takes the whole bowl of keef and he does it like in eight, you know, 10 minutes go by and he's smacked. Like, yo, he's zooted. Yo, I, yo, bro, I can still see your face envision every this like this like as it was yesterday, bro. And he's zooted. So he spends like he spends the night at my house because he didn't want to walk back home. So like, it's all good. But, you know, as niggas know, you spend a night at my crib, you're sleeping on the floor. Like, I'll give you blankets, but you got to sleep on the floor, bro. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you can't sleep in my, my, my bed man like you gotta sleep on the floor so you know i gave him whatever so he get comfortable and like he not even not not that's I, I'm, I'm i'm jumping steps not even happy yet he he uh he was like he was like 
he got sick. I, and I remember I was laying on my bed. I was chilling on my bed, laying, like watching something. And he's in my computer chair. Playing the TV, he's playing the Xbox or something. And he turns around and looks at me in the computer chair. And I'm like, nigga, you look dead. Like, he just was so pale. Like, he looked like he was literally about to, like, pass out and die. And I'm like, bro, like, you look dead. And he looked at me. And he just touched his face. And he just started freaking the fuck out. Like, he was like, his heart started racing. He's like, yo. He's like, bro. He's like, I, he's like, I think, he's like, I, he's like, I don't feel right, man. He's like, I just, something's not right. And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, chill out. I was like, what's going on? And he's like, He's like, my heart's racing. I'm like, ah, uh, I'm like, okay, I think I know what's happening because I, I had this happen to me once, but I'm gonna tell my experience after. So I'm like, oh, I know what's happening. I'm like, you're, but you're greening out, bro. Like you're, you're just, you know, your, your, your brain is getting to you. It's playing tricks. You're having, I call them ghost pains because sometimes, like, like if you, if you know what it means, it feels like your heart is jumping out your chest, but it's really not. Like it's not actually at all until you start making it. Like you may think, like how it works is that you think your heart is beeping really fast like and then all of a sudden it'll really start beep start beating fast because you're like oh shit my heart's racing when it's not and then it starts racing so like i'm like bro like you got you can't chill because then you just start thinking of shit that's gonna start happening like on some placebo effects i'm like bro just chill out you're gonna be good or you know we're laughing he's like <sighs> like he's breathing heavy and all that shit so he's, he's trying to he's trying to calm himself down and i'm like i right, just here like Give him, I give him some stuff to lay down, like, go to sleep and you'll be good. Like, you know, just sleep it off, like, really. Or, because usually they say to take another, I never tested it. They say when you get like that, to smoke again and it helps you. I don't, I don't know. I never tried it. I don't advocate for that. So I just said, go to sleep. Sleep heals a lot. So I was like, just take, I was like, bro, just sleep it off. You know, you know, you'll be fine. But I, and I start laughing. I was like, I told you that whole bowl of Keith is going to kill your ass. Like, and it did. So, you know, he's laying down, we turn the TV off, turn the lights off, and I'm laying down. And then as I'm laying down, I see this nigga after like 10, 15 minutes laying down. I'm thinking he's sleep on some ghost shit. That nigga just rises straight up like on some like imagine sleeping on the floor. Right. And like someone just rises up. They don't stand like they just rise up and he looks over at me and I jump up and I look at him like nigga. I'm like, are you good? And he starts freaking out even more. And I'm I'm high, too. So like, bro, him freaking out is going to make me start freaking out. So I'm getting scared. So I'm like, bro, like. Like, are you good? Like, do I gotta take you to the hospital? Like, I'm, I'm getting scared because I'm like, bro, like, what if, what if it was something in the weed? But it can't be because I was smoking that shit for weeks, so I would have been freaking out. So I'm like, bro, like, nah, like something's good. like I don't know what to do. Like, I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? And he's freaking out. He's like, my heart's racing. Like, bro, like he was just like he just couldn't sleep. Like he was like really having like on some like anxiety panic attack shit. So I'm like, alright. He calls his sister. She picks him up. He goes home, and. At the end of the day, he wakes up and we're laughing about it because he's like, bro, and we're like, he's like, he's like, bro, I really thought I was going to die. And I'm like, I know, nigga, like, I know how you feel. Like, I've had that happen to me. And we're laughing. He's recollecting his memories. He's like, bro, I can't believe I did that. And I'm like, it's all good, bro. Like, it happens to the best of us. Now, my favorite, and this is me, right? So the first time it happened to me, I remember this like it was yesterday. Everything, like, every, everything. So I'm playing... I used to do these things where I would play Call of Duty. So like I'd go through and play the old school ones and, you know, do do like a multiplayer match of each one just to, you know, reminisce. And I was playing, it was like 1130 at night and I was playing COD Ghosts. Uh, no one was up. I was usually around these times, I'm, we're in the Discord or Skype. We used to use Skype back then, actually. We just now started using Discord. Not, me, not act like we was always on Discord. Like we was on Skype, like, we used Skype. That was the go-to shit to talk, like Skype. So we was on Skype. And nobody was on Skype this night, so I was chilling by myself, and I took a rip. I took a mean, mean rip. Like, yo, I, I took a mean one, and I, I was sitting there, right, and I listened to music, playing COD Ghosts. I remember it was on that map. Oh, I can't think of the map. I'm gonna put it on screen, so like for those that play, you know what map, so you could kind of imagine a little bit. And as I'm playing. It was that game mode. I don't remember. It was like, I didn't even know this was a game mode. It was the one where like, when you die, like when you, you know, it's like search destroy, you get killed, you die, but you could pick up the dog tag and bring the person back to life, which is a game mode that needs to be revived. I don't know. I haven't played the new COD. It might be, but they should bring that back on some real. But like, I was playing that and all of a sudden I just got, I felt like, you know, I just got hit with something. Like, I just felt like my heart was racing and I'm like, all right, that's weird. And then all of a sudden like i was just i just got a mean throbbing headache and i just 
literally the guy felt like i wanted to cry bro i dashboarded nigga i dashboarded the game i never dashboard i dashboarded the game put the controller down and laid down and went to sleep on some like on some crazy shit i was like i was like bro like i really felt like on some like my heart was about to explode like it was crazy and uh you know yeah so it was this wasn't that grand like because i went to sleep like nah, i was i forced myself to sleep that shit off i was not gonna sit through that the whole thing uh, -uh. so i slept it off and woke up and i was fine so i was like okay I greened out like I know how that feels now. And I know why people say that's scary. So when it happened to my friend, I knew how he felt. But for I'll give I'll toss in two more. Since we already thrown out a little bit of stories, I'll share two little other ones. Cause I got a whole bunch of my sleep. But I want to throw them in here because they don't des they deserve, but they don't at the same time deserve to be in separate videos, nigga. Cause we shaming ourselves right now. So I had another friend that came over to my house, right? And let me tell you, this nigga, bro. He, let me even just let me just start off like this. When you when you eat sunflower seeds, do you a eat spit? I mean, eat chew spit like it says on the bag, or do you two or b swallow the whole fucking uh, the shell? If you chose a, you on par with me. But if you choose b, you just as you on par with this nigga. So Nero, I'm, I'm I can't name call you because you know you subscribe to my homie, bro. If you, I'll put his link, I'll put his YouTube channel in the and the uh description of the link or link in the description and you know he's chilling at my house and where he's taking a he's about to take a bong rip and he's he ate a whole bag I, and like when i eat like literally i don't mean like you know like i said not cat like how you normally eat sunflower seeds no nigga literally ate a whole bag of sunflower seeds shell and all before he started smoking and he took a mean rip and it's always with the mean rips like you could take a you could take a rip off my bong and be fine but when you take a mean rip like on some crazy shit like you're gonna it's gonna hit you like i don't know why like i said this bong it just still got it to this day it still does it like i don't know what it is but it does hit it hits if you hit it it hits back stronger so he hit it and he wasn't expecting that little bitch to come with a punch and he started he got pale like my other friend and his eyes just got like his eyes were so red and swollen and like he just he's after he took the rip he he blew out a speech bubble nigga on some on some manga shit and he looked at me and he sat on the edge of my bed and he looked at me and he put his hands on his knees and just looked down and i was like uh oh i know what this is and then i was like you look like you about to throw up and he looked at me and he, he like he did that gag thing like he was about to throw up and i was like nah you're good bro i'm like i'm just fuck with you like don't I actually throw up like you're only thinking that because you feel like you know because i'm saying that you feel like you're gonna throw up and he's he looks back he goes back down he looks back down and puts his head in his knees and i just start laughing like i just start cracking the fuck up because i'm like this nigga's feeling it right now like ooh, like i know how he feels and i'm like he looks back up he's like give me the trash bin because i had a little trash can in my room and i'm like i didn't i don't know i should i should have told i was because i don't think he was really gonna throw up so i give it to him or whatever and this nigga throws up whole whole sunflower seed shells into my trash can like and i start dying like you can hear the shells hit the fucking like hit the bottom of the bin like on some like like on rapid fire type shit and I'm weak and I'm just like, bro, like nigga, I've never seen a nigga throw up sunflower seed shells before. And he looks at me, he's like, bro, stop. And he starts laughing. And I'm like, nigga, like, are you that's like that's I was like, if I was you, I wouldn't even eat that shit like that no more. He's like, he looked me dead in my eye. He's like, I've never spoken again. I'm like, I was like, now that you finish that, go clean my trash bag. Go treat go clean my trash bin out. Whatever he goes, he cleans it out and he's good like he's good he's sitting there he's chilling and whatever we're laughing because i'm like you're like you really threw up whole sunflower seed shells on some bird shit like you bird man and he throws up again in my trash bin whole sunflower seed shells a second time so i'm like don't even like he calls his mom to get him i'm like don't even give me that shit back throw that away on your way out and buy me a new trash bin and he never got me a new trash bin but he gave me the money to get a new one and I never bought one to avoid the fact that another nigga might throw up in my trash can. So, yeah. And 
the little second one, like I said, this was quick. The first time I got my bomb, me and my friend were coming back from bike riding, and we basically broke, we, we bike rode to very up past the time, because I wanted to get my new bug. I was so happy, bro, like, like I was just so happy. It was the summer, it was summer 2018, 20, 2017, maybe 2016, I don't know, summertime, you know, and we're chilling. And I finally get home, I see the mail, as I get home, I see the mailman walking up to deliver my bong. And I'm like, yes. I'm like, let's go. It's just me and him, we're chilling. Like, I was like, I cannot wait to take a rip. I'm like, yo, you taking the first rip off the thing. He's like, I'm like, he's like, really? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you gotta break it, we gotta break it in. So take the rip. And we record, I remember, I record, we recorded the first bong rip too. I remember the first, the, I had that same recording, I'd play it, but I'm not. You know, yeah, it's got a song playing in the background, copyright reasons. So I'm not even, I'm not even gonna do it. But um, you know, I take the rip. I take a, I remember, it took a full bowl rip, and I was not expecting. Like I said, remember, now I know my bong catches bodies. Back then when I first got it, I didn't know not to do that because you're so used to hitting everybody else's bong. Everybody else, you know, everybody's bong hits differently. Every bong hits different. That's a fact. So we're so used to hit. I was so used to hitting everybody else's bond that my own bond. I wasn't expecting it to come back and punch me like that. So that shit hit, and I'm like, oh, I sat down, and I was like, yo, like I'm good. Like I can't, bro. Like I'm good for the whole day on some shit. Like I just felt wasted. I, God, I was bro. Like, usually, because we'd smoke, play Xbox. Like that's all we did. Like you know, we're not pods that go fucking start crying we started off smoking and playing xbox we still smoke and play xbox or well, we don't smoke and play xbox now sometimes we do or we play pcs smoke play pc games like you know we're not bad kids it just told you we just came back from bike riding bro like we but we, we used to go bike riding so you know he i'm telling him like you hit the next one he took two full bull rips yo and this is like this like, this thing we used to call him the king of pot like yo this was the bong rip king he still is bong rip king i will never nobody can ever ever take this man's title of being the biggest pot i swear like yo he smoked a lot a lot and i never seen him ever 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 green out i swear on on everything never ever seen him ever anything like of the sorts and when he hit that bong on that second bull that first bull just hit him and he yo like he Oh, look, bro, he he got pale and, like, on some shit. Like, yo, he looked like he was about to drop dead, too. Like, and then he hit, and then a couple minutes later, the second bull hit him. And that's when he laid down. And I was like, are you good? And he just looked like, he had, he was just, like, exasperated. He was lost for words. And I'm looking at him like, I don't blame you, bro. Like, I've never seen you in this condition before. And I just started laughing. I'm like, this bong is it. And from then on. Just, the bong just kept catching bodies after the first two of the day. And until this day, my bong, I'd say, has about, like, five or so, seven different bodies that have died or nearly died after hitting this thing. And to that, I'd say, thick-ass glass, you make some really good products. And that's the end of these stories. My name is Lost Disciple, and I will see you in the next video. Also, wait, before I even go, let's be honest here. You guys need to start. Not even. Let's not even. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. What color television? Fan on the ceiling. Abstract art on the walls. Living different. 1989. Talking on the phone. Wind blowing hard on the windows closed. Turquoise sheets. Motel 6, that's room 24 Meet you in the morning, meet me here tonight Vibe in the bed, gotta say it all right Black ball of sand, gold in the faucet Fresh bar, so many shampoo bottles Playing some Atari, she blowing on my cartridge Rules up, it's nothing, I can hear them at the door Do not disturb, hang